Continue on. Now, I didn't talk too much about layers, my bad, when I said I was going to. So let's say you got a stick man, right? And he is saying hi. Yeah, that's a hand, okay. Yeah. And he's moving. You can do the motion tween. But I feel like doing it this way. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that sucks anyway. Let's insert a layer. Select it at the end, because that's where I want this other guy to come in. Oh, this is where the... There you go. Now I want him to go on top of him. Or, on second thought, I want him to go under him. See? You... Whatever layer's on top is what's going to go on top of each other. Let's make it a little bit simpler. See? The layer 2 is on top of layer 1. But let's say we want layer 1 on top of layer 2. And the guy goes behind him. See that? Interesting, right? Now, let's say we have a background. It's mountains. Oh, man. Insert layer. Red mountains. Red mountains. Okay. But... While I'm messing around and stuff like that, I don't want anything to happen to that. So I click lock. That makes it so I can't erase it. I can't select it. Yet I can select my other guys. This can be very useful. Because stuff, you know, you don't want to select your background accidentally. And it's so annoying, trust me. Whew, happens to me a lot. I always forget to lock stuff. But it's a nice thing to learn. And, yeah, how about let's teach you about the line tool. Oh, need to insert another layer. Start it. And there you go, the line tool. You can have a solid line. You can increase its size. Yeah, that's really big. It ranges from 1 to 200, I believe. Yep. All right. You can make it solid, dotted. Oh, that's not dotted. There you go. You can make it like split. See? Alright. Um. Notice if I lock this, I cannot erase it. But if I unlock it, I can erase it all I want. Or not. There you go. No? Uh, I'm having technical difficulty. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. You just gotta erase it, you know. Alright. Okay, anyways. Alright. Well, I've taught you many things, but I am not. I'm yet to touch this tool. This is the oval tool, and this is the rectangle tool. Notice it's very kind of sharp, you know, pointy and whatnot. You can make it smoother with the hairline. Very smooth. You can make it completely solid. You can make it dotted. That's hard to notice unless you zoom in. But yeah, you see that? Also, if you want it to be white, you can just the fill tool right here. See how it's white and dotted black lines? You can change those lines to blue, red, whatever you want. You can make it solid. You can make it filled in blue with a red line going around. In fact, you can like make the American flag and stuff or whatever flag country you're from. There's the pencil tool. Same thing, you can make it smooth, just like the brush tool. Once again, I don't like it smooth very much. You can change it, just like any other tool. Make it dotted, stuff like that. Yeah. 
Um, there's of course, I don't know what I draw. You can see, you can take colors from other places. Like let's say you want that shade of black. That's funny. And so you took that shade of black and now you can make everything that shade of black. That's in paint too, so I don't know. I'm kind of running out of ideas to teach you guys. I think I'm going to make a part three. And that's going to be on walking. Yeah. I think that would be a good idea. Best of luck. Good luck animating. Go to part three now!